Since there's been baseball, there's been food at the ballpark. Good, good eye. job, good job. Good eye. Of course, the most popular ballpark food of all is the hot dog. Americans eat over 20 billion hot dogs a year. Cloverdale Meats has been in food service for more than 90 years. If you're chomping on a Mariner's dog at Seattle's Major League Baseball Stadium, this is where it started. This is a 90% lean beef trimmings. That's gonna be the main component in our all beef hot dogs, and that's what we're doing today. If you were to take this whole bin, this whole combo, and weigh it up, grind it, you would come up with about 90% lean meat. But even with an all beef dog, you need more than just lean meat. This is very important when it comes to making a hot dog. This is fat trimmings. We've already seen the lean trimmings, but the fat is gonna add flavor and texture to our hot dog. One batch makes 40,000 hot dogs. This is their secret spice mix. This is what differentiates the flavor of a Cloverdale hot dog from anyone else. Absolutely. And now, a sack full of a condiment you thought only topped your dog. Ground mustard. This is a must have when making hot dog. If we stuff this mixture in a casing now, we'd have something more like a sausage. To be a hot dog, the lean meat and fat need to be ground into a pasty texture. That way, when we cook it and remove the casing, it'll keep its shape. Now this is the inside of our hot dog. You can see it's nice and smooth. It's got a little tack, and it's headed up this elevator into a storage bin and off the casing. In the 40s, this machine called the Frankomatic changed sausage production forever. It stuffs, twists, and hangs 300 links a minute. Then they're off to the smoker. This is just part of our batch of 40,000 hot dogs, and they're headed in here for a 90-minute smoke bath, right? You bet. After an hour and a half in the smoker and a nice long shower, we're ready to get these babies undressed. This is a skinner. Some guys call it a peeler. And what we're going to do is we're going to be dropping uh, hot dogs onto the tray here, feeding them into the tube, and that's going to suck them through. These wheels are going to advance the hot dog, and then we're going to add the knife. Hard to believe this itty-bitty blade, hardly the width of a piece of paper, will undress up to 1,000 dogs a minute. Give me your fastball. There you go. Before the dogs are packed, workers double-check that the automatic peeler has done its job. The blue color makes any leftover casing easier to spot. We've got our hot dog. Now, no one's exactly sure where the term hot dog came from, but we've got a few ideas. The Germans used to call Frankfurters Dachshunds, or little dogs, and it was the first hot food ever served at baseball games. So, a hot food that looks like a little dog. Sounds good to me, hot dog. <laughs> 